right past that point. Welcome to the Sovereign Sportsman. I'm Forrest Parker. And I'm Eric Ritchie. Hey, you guys are going to get a kick out of this week. We're going on a big, big four tag animal hunt up in Northern Montana. One of the most incredible hunts. I've th I think we've got queued up yet, isn't that right? Absolutely. We've got, a, uh, we've got an elk hunt. We've got a buffalo hunt. We've got a mule deer hunt. We've got a black bear hunt queued up for this week. It's just going to be off the chain. Our good friend, Josh Thompson, you know, rising country music artist now. He's in the top 15. Uh, Tate Cunningham from the band Safety Suit. Yep. Curtis Fleming from Fly Rod Chronicles. He's going to be there casting and blasting. Not only do we got big tags, but we're doing it with uh, with the Blackfeet Indians who have already rolled out the red carpet for us. Even before we even get there, we, you know, I'm I'm so excited about that. And uh, man, you've got a, you've got a chance. You know, you're Cherokee Indian, right? We're yeah. going up to hunt with the Blackfeet Indians, and you're going to have a chance shooting a buffalo. Uh, what's going on with that? It really has been a lifelong dream to, to hunt free range buffalo and, the, and these guys feel that we have a real good shot at the next free range world record and I couldn't be happier. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's roll. It's supposed to be a special place. They all, it's very controlled hunting. Like five, ten people have hunted in the last 20 years, so it's going to be off the chain. We're uh, actually about to embark on my very first elk hunt is something I've, I've dreamed about since I was a little kid. Here on the, the Blackfoot Reservation, we were greeted with absolute open arms. They were as excited as we were, uh, you know, that we were here. And uh, it's just a, you know, a friendly atmosphere. I felt like everybody was a friend right away. We're just uh, entering into Glacier National Park uh, with a bunch of buddies. And um, we're, uh, we're heading to meet with the guides uh, from the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. Uh, Going to grab a couple, about nine horses and head up into the mountains and uh, see what we see. We've got a uh, uh, high altitude lake. We're going to do some fishing. Um, going to look for some elk, going to look for some bear. Uh, going to look for ways to rib all these guys that are riding with me on the trail and, uh, and just have a great time. This is the pinnacle to me because it's always been a dream of mine to, to get up in a mountain on, on horseback. It's going to be awesome. And, and chase probably one of the most majestic animals that there is. It couldn't get any better than this, guys, I'm telling you. This is what God put us here to do, and we're going to do a bunch of it. So we got to the mountain about 10 or 11 in the afternoon and uh, spent the day scouting. Hi Josh man, your first stalk on elk. Rode around, the wind's kind of screwy, but I made a good attempt at it. Didn't come through, but it's the first morning, man. How'd you like it? It was fun, man. I had a blast. I mean, the scenery alone is uh, is worth making the hike up here. Oh know? man. Got riding the horses in, and we got to see some animals. Managed to see a moose, and uh, you now I think we'll be uh, we'll be successful there. Yeah, Eric's got to get a boot sponsor. Yeah, the only fatality today was my boots, so I got to. Uh, if you're, if you're watching us right now, we're probably hitting you up for a boot sponsorship, so. <laughs> Let's do it again, guys. Hey. Y'all ready? All right. I'm gonna press on.
We knew that the uh, Blackfeet were gonna throw us a little bit of a hoot nanny one night, you know, we didn't know exactly how how, how big or involved it was gonna be, but um, it, it, it really blew all of us away. I mean, we had, there were Native American dancers, um, there was a big bonfire, there was tribal councils uh, uh, beating tribal music on the big drum, and it was after, at the end of the day of one of our hunts, and, and um, to end a day like that that we had out in the field in, in the most beautiful place in the world, I think, to hunt with the, with the Blackfeet Indians and members of their tribal council, and then come back from that into, uh, into a full-blown uh, traditional Indian kind of powwow was really phenomenal. The ceremony that they held for us was something I'd never seen before. I mean, they had this big spread of food, a, a huge fire, and uh, they did all this dancing, and they really, uh, they really rolled out the red carpet for us. In terms of uh, telling a story, well, each color represents a, a unique uh, story in its own uh, right. Uh, And they actually made me an official member of the Blackfoot tribe and they named me many stars and uh, it was such an honor. This episode of The Sovereign Sportsman is brought to you by First Light Apparel, hunting apparel for the avid hunter, by Fatal Attraction Deer Feed, supplementation producing strong, healthy animals and amazing antler growth, by Cabela's Tags, draw the tag of a lifetime with Cabela's Tags, and by Weatherby Firearms, proud producers of the Vanguard and Mark V rifles, semi-auto shotguns and threat response firearms. The Sovereign Sportsman is proud to announce our partnership with Comfort and Joy Kennels in Gaffney, South Carolina. Terry Stick Queen and his wife Patty have been involved with breeding and training champion Labradors for more than 20 years. Comfort and Joy have become Sovereign Sportsman's go-to provider of hunting dogs and dog training for the show. The Queens even surprised us this year with our own dogs, Moose and Spartacus, that Stick is training for use on the show later this year. We can't wait to see these pups in action. Thank you Stick and Patty for your unwavering dedication to the sport, to the loving way in which you care for and train every dog, and to your partnership and support of the Sovereign Sovereign Sportsman. Pelican Products is a global manufacturer of advanced lighting systems, ruggedized cases, and shipping containers. Pelican's partnership with the Sovereign Sportsman has been invaluable given the importance of safely transporting the full extent of gear and equipment necessary for us to shoot and produce the show each week. Pelican continues to set the bar regarding product quality and the diversity and effectiveness of their products and services. In an industry where bagging the big one is never a guarantee, Pelican Products can always be relied on to deliver every time. There's a deep tradition of exchanging gifts when dealing with Native Americans on the Indian Reservation. I had a good friend of mine, an artist from Billings named Sherry Love Bollinger, and, and what we ended up doing was a, a buffalo skull painting, uh, a specialization that Sherry Love Bollinger has. This paint is actual crushed turquoise, and then there's crushed lapis in here too. It was, it was unbelievable. It was a perfect, perfect ending to a perfect day hunting. Uh, it's the only way that I can describe it. It was just a very, very special time for all of us. Look at that. Boy, that means a lot to me. This is beautiful, and thank you guys. Thank you very much.
the Blackfeet Fish and Wildlife and the Blackfeet Tribe. Would you please welcome top 20 country music artist, Josh Thompson. And I'm absolutely honored to be here. But I do have a, a couple things that I'd like to uh, give the tribe. I have two things actually. The first is, is my very first record uh, on Columbia Records, still in the uh, cellophane. So you can uh, take it and it also makes a great beer coaster. <laughs> and uh, also uh, it makes a great uh, clay pigeon if you shoot it up in there. <laughs> or you can listen to it. This is my very first guitar strap um, that I ever owned. Uh, it's actually been on my guitar for a lot of years. Uh, written a lot of songs with it, actually every song on that record, and uh, played a lot of shows with it. Uh, so I'd just like to give this to you and thank you. Sitting here with Gail Skunkcap. Gail, thanks for sitting down with me for a few minutes. You bet. I wondered if you would, if you could just give us a little bit of the history of the program here, a little snippet about where the programs are going and what you guys are excited about. You know, we were in an area that has been closed for over 20 years. During that time, it was stipulations. It had to stay closed for a number of years, certain number of years. And when the elk came in and the, the council at that time began to see that that was an elk calving refuge, you know, they just opted to keep it closed all that time. But then later on, the tribe opted to open that area to a restricted hunting zone only. It would be a lottery member for our tribal, tribal members and implement some of our non-member big game hunts. And there were some monster bulls in there. Just by going out the, the Blackfeet Tribal Department and putting this together for you guys, it, you know, it meant a lot to us to do something like that. And I think we could generate a lot more funds, a lot more jobs that way too for tribal members. Thank you very much. And um, thank you for sitting down and talking with me tonight. And um, man, I look forward to seeing you out on the trail over the next couple of days. Great. Sovereign Sportsman Network is, is fully committed at this point. And, uh, and that trip did nothing but strengthen my resolve to to really go great guns and full barrel ahead with some of these programs that we're doing in collaboration and partnership with the uh, with the Indians across the United States. Now let's listen to Josh. You could vacation overseas to experience a different way of life with unique art, incredible history, and a different language. Or you can enjoy it all right here. Experience legendary Cherokee, where the adventure is real. As a longtime buddy of the Sovereign Sportsman team, Travis Kenton is the genius behind Kenton Outdoors, a 100% fair chase hunting operation encompassing 3,000 plus trophy managed hunting acres in West Central Ohio. Year after year, Sovereign Sportsman makes the trip to Ohio to hang out with Travis and his wife Stacy and hunt for some of the most impressive monster whitetail available anywhere in the United States. Annually, Kenton Outdoors produces one of the highest success rates of any trophy whitetail outfitter to the select few lucky enough to experience all that Kenton Outdoors has to offer. Great vacations have exciting rides, amazing attractions, and brave action heroes. The difference is, ours are real. Experience legendary Cherokee, where the adventure is real. Everybody's getting kind of tired, rising a little slow, but 
We're ready to bang this thing out again. Uh, we're going back uh, probably about 10 or 15 miles into the back country. I'm gonna hit some territory that just probably nobody's even hunted in 10 to 15 years. We took off up further up the mountain. We sat down, we had some lunch by this uh, high altitude lake. Best apple ever eat. Square. Even the stickers good. <laughs> Some of the guys were fishing cutthroat. And so we finished up there and decided we'd give it one more, one more try and went back up to the top of the mountain. We sat down and, and one of the, the uh, Blackfoot Indians, they were uh, bugling. You see him, Josh? There he is, you see him. He's three. Oh, oh. And uh, about 10 minutes later, one see, bugled see, back. And uh, my hair absolutely stood up on end. It was the most amazing sound I think I've ever heard. And, and about 10 minutes after that, this great big bull stepped out at about 550 yards. He came up to about 330 yards and then we lost him for about 15 minutes. We kind of scrambled and, and switched locations about 75 yards to the left. And we sat down and he hit the bugle one more time. And that big bull bugled back and he stepped out at about 90 yards. And My heart was absolutely pounding, so uh, I did the best I could to kind of breathe through my nerves. And and uh, made a, a great shot on him, one shot. And Good shot. Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Good shot, buddy. Then we celebrated screamed probably looked like a bunch of freaks up there josh just made like a great shot on the elk my men here from the blackfeet called him up to like 50 yards from like a thousand yards and so he did we think he made a great shot he should be right over the hill and we're going to find him well how you feel right now man, before we go feel... look at the elk tell me what you tell me how you felt when he stepped out i, I was uh beside myself my heart <laughs> my heart jumped out of my chest i felt like a wet spot on the ground i thought i thought i hit like an underwater spring I you better not screw this up. You better not screw this up. I think I think he did good. We're gonna go see him find him, man. Yeah, Dude, he dropped hard. He dropped real hard, man. Hey. Black feet country. That's right, baby. Way out That's here, honey. Right. Way out yeah. here. <laughs> we went and got him and spent the rest of the evening packing him out. And... Wow. And just absolutely put icing on the cake of, of the best hunt I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> One thing for sure, all successful hunts and a bunch of work. Luckily for us, we got the new series of whitetail cutlery knives from Frost Cutlery. These things are off the charts. I'm fixing to get my new one dirty and help the boys. This is bigger than my horse <laughs> that I'm riding on now. I always loved hunting and fishing, but uh, this has been a dream hunt of mine since I was a little kid. And, and it couldn't have gone any better. And uh, it's a big thanks to, uh, to Eric and, and Forrest and, and the film crew and then the Blackfoot were absolutely amazing. The council members were with us the whole time and uh, just made us feel like we were home. To me, Montana is, is the most gorgeous state uh, that there is and I've been to, to every one of them. When we got into Browning and pulled into camp, it was, uh, it was like my dream, it was like my dream house right there. It was like a scene out of Jeremiah Johnson. The cabins were awesome, the food was 
out of this world, and the people were, uh, were very welcoming and warm. Uh, the council members met us there, and, and uh, they were as excited to have us there as we were to be there, and uh, it just made us feel like we were home. Covering more than 1.5 million beautiful acres, the Blackfeet Indian Reservation in Montana provides for some of the most incredible hunting and fishing opportunities on the planet. And even though the culture there has survived 150 years of intensive efforts to eradicate it, it is once again flourishing and undergoing a rebirth. The Sovereign Sportsman team is fully dedicated to assisting the Blackfeet in efforts to expose these initiatives and programs to the entire world. Our respect and love for the people, their culture, and their innovative approach to reclaiming their sovereignty will forever tie us together. Leapers has been in the business of supplying shooting, hunting, and outdoor gear since 1991, while setting uncompromised standards for their business with a focus on making the best-in-class products for hunting, shooting, and outdoor enthusiasts. From tactical weapons accessories and gun cases to unbelievable multicolor illuminated rifle scopes and mounting systems, Leapers produces the absolute highest quality made in the USA products to the industry at a price point for any budget. We feel honored that Leapers has selected Sovereign Sportsman as their first TV partner to showcase these unbelievable products to the public. Scope them out. You'll be glad you did. A good friend of ours and the guy that just pasted one of the biggest bulls out of your reservation, please welcome Josh Thompson. The concert that we did uh, was kind of, a, kind of a thank you uh, at the school gymnasium really. It was, it was kind of full of people, lots of kids, uh, so we kind of recapped the hunt. I did. I shot my very first elk on Monday. That's right. It was a six by six, and uh, thanks uh, to you guys letting me in here and hunting and uh, calling them in for me. So it's a, it's been a fantastic week. Absolutely a dream come true. Give us kind of a crib note of uh, of you. I was uh, born and raised in Wisconsin, um, about 45 minutes north of Milwaukee. Uh, I had one sister and a, a mother and a father that uh, was in the concrete industry. And um, so I started working with him at the age of 12 and uh, grew up hunting and fishing and, uh, and camping and got a guitar for my 21st birthday. And, uh, you know, after that, I started writing my own music and then made the, uh, made the trek to Nashville. I'd gone to college and got a degree in natural resources. And um, after that, I had uh, I'd spent nine months in the woods with the, uh, with the Ojibwa tribe in upper Wisconsin. Uh, thinking that I was going to move to Alaska and uh, pursue my natural resources degree. But after that, I just kind of went back pouring concrete, and then uh, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to move down to Nashville. And plus, I wanted to get away from my ex-girlfriend. True story. <laughs> so let's get to the record. Uh, first record's out. Uh, had some great songs already released, uh, some more that are coming out. Yeah. Uh, Beer on the Table is the first release, right? Yes, absolutely. It yeah, came tell out us about last that. year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and applaud. Great song. That was, uh, that was a song I wrote actually during the time when I was pouring concrete and uh, you know working hard all week and then making sure that you had enough money left over to uh, spend on yourself in a good time. Every morning I get up before that rooster crows Headed straight to somewhere I don't even want to go Eggs and bacon in my belly and a phone just coffee buzz Good old radar detector, it protects me from the fuzz And I got to sing some songs, uh, some songs off my album, some newer songs And I uh, got to meet everybody, sign some autographs And, uh, and really just thank them uh, for accepting me into their home The next morning at 4 AM, I had to leave, and that was definitely the worst part about the trip because, uh, I mean, it, the place is just absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I didn't want to leave. One of the most incredible weeks I've ever spent uh, out on the road hunting, I, absolutely. I can, I'll go a step further, and I'm gonna say, honest, that was the most incredible week, both hunting and just being with people that I've ever had in my life. I mean, it was awesome. Just the camaraderie, the nights, the dinners, the time with the tribal council, uh, the ceremonies that, uh, that the Blackfeet Indians put on for us just absolutely blew me away. I couldn't believe it. I know Josh, you know, was very emotional the one night up there that he got presented with his new Indian name and his adoption right. into the tribe. And 
and uh, just incredible all the way around. I, I just can't wait to see what else is uh, out in front of us right now. It's going to be hard to top that area, but I'm ready to try, so let's see, <laughs> let's see where we go from here. Hey, I'm with you. Let's go to it. Yeah, see y'all next time. See ya. Join Sovereign Sportsman next week as we conclude our two-part series hunting with the Blackfeet Indians in northern Montana. This episode of The Sovereign Sportsman was brought to you by J.L. Powell, First Light Apparel, Fatal Attraction, Cabela's Tags, Comfort and Joy Kennels, Pelican Products, Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, Kenton Outdoors, The Blackfeet Nation, and Leapers. Thank you for your continued support of and partnership with The Sovereign Sportsman.